Good morning ladies and gents, how are you doing today? It's Danny Stewart here from BaseJapanDirect.com with another Naked Sound review and a lesson integrated into this one as well. And today's base, uh, we are looking at this beautiful uh, Greco JB450, I believe, um, from about 1975, something like that. It's entirely original. Um, it does have a uh, does have a rear pickup cover as well and bridge cover which uh, is not original uh, but that will be included with this and this is in very good condition and it's available right now at this link um, yeah very nice condition for the year a um, few dings and scuffs here around the edges of the body um, but frets are, are nice and healthy neck is really healthy um, and it plays like a dream so um, go that's that I think the body is mahogany with um, maple laminate on the top and on the back the neck is three piece uh, and it's a top adjust truss uh, the JB 500 on the other hand which was a little bit higher grade than this um, had a five piece neck with um, very thin stringers between the pieces this doesn't have that um, so this is just straight three piece quarter sawn in the middle um, and flat sawn on the edges I believe and uh, rosewood fretboard lovely uh, lovely stuff and uh, what else we got here um, yeah the original pickups um, a nice rosewood finger rest here um, yeah, and it's in great working order. It's available right now. So, have at it. And uh, today's uh, riff, as you heard at the beginning there, uh, and the lesson is to do with independence um, uh, with for your left hand. Uh, you can get the tabs at my website, by the way, if you subscribe there. There is a lot of material there that you can uh, download and look at, print out, um, and even some backing tracks to practice along with. Um, so today's riff That's the riff um, that you heard at the beginning So what I'm going to do is break that riff down for you and explain to you um, why it's useful So uh, we've got a G on the E string and we're going to play the seventh behind that and we're going to use this uh, this technique so uh, what we're doing is we're playing G G F G octave G and we're using the index for the lower notes on the right hand the middle finger for the higher notes on the right hand. So that's the first step and as you can see that takes quite a lot of coordination. And then we're going to move down to an F, two plugs on the F, and then we're going to shift position, we're going to play the A on the second fret of the G string. And this is like a from a C major scale, um, and we're going to go A, C, B. So that's A with the first finger, C with the fourth, B with the third finger, G with the fourth on the D string, fifth fret, and down to the F with the first, and that is a little bit of a theme that runs through the whole bass line. You've got a descending bass line with a theme on top. So the next part is the open E. And it's exactly the same pattern with the right hand as we did in the first bar on the G. And then it drops with your pinky, you're going to play an E flat on the 6th fret of the A string. And this is where it gets really kind of tricky, uh, but this is very good for you for your left hand. So 
we're going to play. So yes, this part is really the crux of, of this lesson. Um, this phrase um, is played over an E flat, and we're keeping the E flat going in the bass uh, continuously. It's ringing out uh, underneath those notes. So how do we do that on the bass guitar? Well, the technique for the left hand here is important. You need to have um, what's called the claw shape, um, which is uh, commonly used on double bass, actually on the contrabass. Um, and uh, that entails having your thumb dead center on the back of the neck. Um, this means that the fulcrum of your hand can move up and down the neck without having to move your thumb very far at all. In fact, you can keep your thumb in one space you can access in one place you can access a lot of the neck already um, so it's very efficient um, but things to note here are that your elbow shouldn't be tucked in you shouldn't be tense um, and you should have your wrist you let your wrist drop naturally so you can keep this uh, this arch shape if you don't keep the arch shape you're going to get very uncomfortable and you're going to get dirty notes and, and, and poor execution. So and uh, the notes here E flat with the pinky B flat on the G string with the first finger C on the fifth fret above that B just below that C. So that's the fingering is B flat is one C is uh, three and then B is two and then it goes back to the G with the third finger on the D string and then to the F with the first finger so and resolves to the G like that um, so it's pretty tough on the left hand but it's a really really good exercise and and it's a musical riff as well that you can apply practically um, it's not like one of these exercises for technique that just has you know it ha the only purpose of it is technique um, and it has no kind of real musical value so that's what I wanted to give you something with musical value that is also good for your technique so that's it guys that's that's the lesson and it is up and available um, the tabs are up and available at my website in the subscriber area the member area you can subscribe to that at the link below uh, get your subscription and you can have access to like I think there's a couple of hundred different um, tabs and stuff and uh, up there uh, there's some backing tracks to practice too as well um, so yeah have at that if you have any questions about that just just holler below um, so now on to the review let's start with the uh, front pickup tone down and get that riff down <laughs> on the rear pickup, the tone up. down. Let's focus on the rear pickup a bit more. Tone up. I've turned the riff down in the background. So 
So I'm going to play a little bit of the bass line and go into a little bit of solo just to demonstrate um, how it sounds on the rear pickup. on the rear pickup, hasn't it? And with the tone down, of course, it's not quite so defined, but um, just to give you an idea, this is how it sounds. Bases are pretty punchy and growly, which is really nice. isn't it? It's nice. And then uh, with the tone down, conversely, um, do something similar. Pick up with the tone up, now with the tone down. Thank 
tone up. I mean, that gives you um, a rough idea of what this bass sounds Well, not a rough idea, but a good idea of what this sa bass sounds like. It's in great condition, and it is available right now at this link. If it's gone, don't despair. Use our Bass Hunter service uh, at the other link, or visit our partner website in Europe, um, who has also numerous Greco uh, in stock, as well as other great um, made-in-Japan vintage basses, and new, too. Thanks.